Assalamualaikum everyone. <coughs> Hi guys. Uh, this is Adi again. I get a, a couple of questions from a friend. Uh, some of my friends they never go fishing before. Uh, they don't know what the equipment they want to use and they ask me, okay, if if I want to go fishing with you or you want to go fishing, what equipment uh, he need to buy. <coughs> so now I'm making this video. Just want to show what kind of equipment that we can use out there <coughs> this depend a lot of things so but I want to explain it the, uh, the most popular one or the most common one that people usually use first time is the most important is the rod <coughs> so I have a few rod here uh, so the rod is you can uh, tell a few different kind of thing so the first uh, one is uh, spinning rod so the spinning rod I have the spinning rod here have to be used with the spinning reel so in the spinning rod uh, you will see the hole the first hole from the uh, the reel place here that will be big this is the spinning rod so another rod we call is for the bed casting uh, best casting reel this best casting uh, rod so uh, the bed casting rod you can see the different here on the hole the first hole will be smaller and here the spinning rod is bigger because they will use it for spinning and this one is not they drag it straight to the, the reels so this two different thing also when you go fishing have to, uh, to place the reel on the right position <clears throat> I have the spinning rod here so if you want to drag the fish you cannot flip it like this and use your right hand to reel it if people know about the fishing, maybe they will smile at you. Okay, you don't do it the right thing. So if the spinning rod, you do it like this. It will uh, use a left hand or right hand, depending on your, your setup. If you're right-handed, uh, you usually use left hand and the strong hand to hold the, uh, the rod. If you left-handed, you use the right hand to reel it. So this one. Why we uh, have to use this way, not the other way around? Because they they construct it the way they uh, the manufacturer make this uh, uh, the rod, it will bend based on the uh, the one that they design. The spinning rod it will bend and strong this way. If this is a, a base cutting rod, they design it like this. They will strong and bend according to the specification uh, on this way. So not the other one. They, the space again doesn't work on the other round so maybe you will break it if you uh, use it on the different the flip it in the wrong way <clears throat> so this is different kind of uh, uh, the rod so another rod also, uh, I do have it too only you have one uh, is the fly fishing rod this is you uh, we use it for fly fishing for the spinning and the best casting usually they have constructed one single rod or two this normally but if a uh, uh, fly fishing maybe four stake or st six uh, stake so like uh, this one I have one this one is cannot be uh, full and that one <coughs> is two two stakes so I can combine it and become longer but to the uh, that the another thing different also uh, you can see before I mention it if you use a bed casting this is bed casting rod you have to use bed casting rail too have to match be matched because the position the design this is the bed casting this is the brake you can use it on the top so if you do it like this maybe hard to push the brake so this is the way they design it but the best casting I think is not for the beginning that really never go fishing before this, uh, this one needs a lot of experience you need to adjust this one the drag uh, one this is the tidy one so there's a lot of a uh, few things you need to adjust it based on the lure you use based on the weight you use so when how you casting if not you're gonna get back slash in here and this is the spool back and this you tangle inside here it's really a nightmare for you if you only bring one and you got a problem you spend a lot of time just to fix it so for the beginning i don't suggest uh, this base casting i suggest you to buy the spinning rod instead the spinning rod and the spinning reel 
like this one. This one is easy. If you want to cast it, you just open it. You can hold it. This one and cast it and close it again. It's very easier to manage. And you don't have to adjust. You only need to adjust this uh, <coughs> this dragon. So if you want to drag a, a big fish, small fish, and you want to let them drag it first, you can drag it. Uh, adjust it in here. Just only one to adjust, and just <clears throat> so another different kind of uh, reel. Also, this one. <clears throat> Can see this? I use this usually for trolling and salmon trolling, or jigging, or I use it on the ocean. I I use this uh, kind of a, a fishing reel a lot. This is the. Uh, the old style uh, bed casting rod. <coughs> so to use this, this one is uh, mostly I use it for big fish like a salmon or a shark or anything. <coughs> so this one has to be like this too. So you you put it like this. Depend on uh, you you constructed this uh, rod. But you can use like this one. Use it like this. So. <coughs> That's for the rod. So, more information of the rod. It, every rod they have specification, right? Like I mentioned it. Hopefully, this one can focus and see what they say in here. Come on, don't focus on me. Focus on this, please. So you can see in here, my rod is about uh, eight. I think right. This is the uh, eight feet. So this is eight feet, and the line. Uh, that I can use in here two to six uh, pound line test. I use a uh, six right now here for the model. <clears throat> I use this for trout mostly. I use eight because I uh, fishing from the bank for the trout. Uh, there's a lot of time I fishing from the shore, so I want to cast it far, farther, uh, far away. So I use this one. If I use a heavier one, hard to cast it far. So I have to use heavy weight to cast it. But if you want to use a jig, small jig. Then you use a, a thinner, uh, thinner one, and you don't want to use a, a thicker one. And also, uh, you want to use a longer one, so you can cast it a little bit far. <clears throat> for for the boat, you don't need a, far, a long one because if it's long, uh, it's probably when you get a fish, you try to pull it. If you by yourself, it's hard for you to bring fish close to the boat, right? So you. Uh, have to move back and get a uh, hand. You have to uh, bring uh, use the net and take the fish with the net. So it's not easy. So use a six uh, feet is better. So you can manage it. Bring the fish closer, and you can uh, get uh, put it in the net. <clears throat> so the different if you push uh, fishing from the shore or from uh, from a beach, right? I use a longer one. I use nine. Use normally I use nine around nine, eight point nine, uh, six or nine or even twelve. I have a twelve uh, feet long uh, rod. I use for uh, for fishing from the beach. So you need to cast it far away. So there's <clears throat> the longer one is better on the beach, mostly. Right? So. <clears throat> That's all about the rod. Also, the rod, uh, the line that you want to use. Uh, you, uh, there's few different kind of line. So the line use is this one is mono, right? Uh, you can see the mono filament in here. We uh, use the floor, uh, floral carbon in here. There's the, this one is white or clear or no color. This is clear. Uh, color and you can see this one is kind of a green color yeah right. so in this, some situation the green color probably good because it's kind of a uh, merge with the the water color like you see uh, on the normal clear uh, water maybe the clear one better especially during the uh, daytime uh, so fish cannot really see it uh, that's what they said but uh, for me, it's a, uh, I use whatever color I like. I use, usually I use green and I use uh, white and don't see much difference, honestly. So 
for me is the possibility for, uh, visibility for me important too so i can see it clear i can put it on the hook better faster and the line uh depend on uh, maybe if you want to use okay what is the line i need to use right so if you use it for a small fish only like uh, for trout you don't need a, a heavy line you can use a six or eight or even four if you uh, use, uh, use the jigging uh, but if you use it with the weight maybe uh, eight you can you can use it better or even uh, ten maybe but ten and ten maybe a little bit uh, thicker but it's okay if you use a uh, uh, you use the weight you can cast it uh, far uh, with heavy weight and if you snag you still can bring it back that's uh, if you use stronger one another this one is another one is a breaded line this is breaded line this is kind of a braided line so for a braided line this one is strong and thicker like a four, uh, 30 this one is 30 pound is the thinner right than the mono mono for 30 pound is thicker this one is not <clears throat> but what is the difference between uh, mono and breaded i think the most different different the mono is kind of a straight the uh, the visibility okay is better fish can already see it and also this one has the stretching better you can stretch when the braided is really tight there's almost no stretching so if the fish fighting with this uh, mono, we can still fight with the small, let's say a six pound fish, you can still fight it with a four uh, mono, four line mono, without breaking it. So that's another good thing about the mono. But I like uh, bread it if I cast it far away with the, uh, uh, with the weight, so I can, if the snag a little bit on the rock, I can pull it back. Also, if I want to do trolling, this one is stronger. So I can uh, do this, uh, uh, use this and bring it back if it's a snack on the wheat or anything. I don't break uh, right away and I can bring my lure uh, back to me without any issue. At least uh, less issue than uh, when then, uh, I use a thinner uh, model. So uh, another one is fly fishing uh this one is not for the beginner too uh if you beginner for the uh, fly fishing okay but you maybe stick with the fly fishing and good uh they have different setup different rod different everything so you have to buy it completely different see this one the uh, the reel is just like 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 this reel there's <coughs> no dragging you can uh, set in here uh there's a dragging but i don't really use it uh usually I use my hand to uh, to adjust it. Uh, you can use this uh, this one to if I like this right. This one is kind of drag. I can set up in here. I make it loose. This one is the same. It's a uh, two ways. You can go. But uh, I don't really use this one. Usually I I use my hand uh, to pull it pull the uh, fish closer, and then reel this one. Use my hand again. Uh, it's better, more fun, but, uh, uh, but the problem with the I'm using uh, fly fishing, I need space. Uh, I need space from the back. Sometimes I, if I go fishing from the bank, it's no, not much space on the back. It's just uh, trees or you know, somebody else, something hard. Sorry, all I'm uh, using my phone and I uh, got a phone call, so the camera was set off automatically. Okay, I think I was talking about the uh, uh, fly fishing, right? So the fly fishing, there's no space. If I go to uh, to the river, I used to go to the American River, and I go in uh, in the water, then I have space on the back. Then it's good to use uh, uh, fly fishing. <clears throat> but if I was on the bank, there's a lot of people. It's, it's not good to use it. So. <clears throat> That's a fly fishing. Uh, if you really like fishing, uh, fly fishing, I think that's that's fun and that's that's good too. There's a lot of adjustment. There's a f different kind of a uh, line on a fly fishing. One is a sinks really fast. One is a sinks 
kind of slossing uh, type of the, the line I don't really remember much again anymore I, I used it a few years ago when I go fishing alone uh, now as I go fishing with uh, my friends and mostly they use spinning rod and uh, uh, bed casting rod so I don't use that anymore <clears throat> maybe I need to go back again uh, do fly fishing sometime <clears throat> now uh, that's the line so uh, the braided line again if I use uh, for <clears throat> trolling I use 30 pound normally 30 40 but for the trout I use 20 to 30 normally for also for striper I use 20 to 30 uh, uh, braided line test here so <clears throat> this is a braided line so again for the uh, the rod is already done right so hopefully this gets idea if you want to buy a long one or short one and match with the reel that you use match with the line uh, take the line that you need so maybe I forgot something about the rod so the rod that construct sit in here they mine okay let me read it again so I won't miss anything that I need to explain it in here <clears throat> this is the ultra light because this is so light uh, lure size so the lure you can use the lure if you want to use the jigging something they recommend it the lure uh, with the with the sinker everything this uh, lure is between one thirty second to quarter uh, ounce so this one is the recommended to use and also this is the action uh, should be this should be medium action. So, for the rod, this uh, they they one is the power and action. You can see this uh, fast action, medium action, and slow action. So, what is that here on the rod? So, the rod, if they say this is fast action, you uh, when you uh, uh, you got bite and you you want to set the hook, it can set it uh, faster because what because they constructed the way they construct it in here if uh, if they call fast because they bend in here if you bend it in here this this band is one third one third they design is one third of the uh, the top one so when they call the fast this is one third of this one they bend one third so if they bend it to two third this is all the, the one so if they ban it this one is look like a fast action so they ban it two thirds in here they call medium action this one is different one that I mentioned before I don't have a, a I don't put the uh, reel in here <clears throat> so one third the medium they will ban in the middle in here so you can ban it really make a big curve right what about the slow action? The slow action, they they if they band it on the back is the one third from the reel to here. Uh, so if you count all the length here, the one third is they, they call the slow action. So <clears throat> so there's a uh, three different kind of action you want. So, so I make the drawing here to explain it, the differences between the action. So the first action you can see one third from the top is already start bending. And the middle one, the medium action. So in the middle, they start bending. And the last one is the slow action. It's one third from the fishing reel there on the uh, from the fishing rod. They already bend. So this is the differences between these three action. That's usually you, you can find it on your uh, fishing rod. Okay, for this drawing, it's about the power. So for the first three uh, drawing there on the left, heavy, medium, and light. So let's say here, uh, one rod has a heavy rod, and the second one, the medium, and the third one is the light. If you catch the same fish size, like let's say one pound, so the heavy one is only bent a little bit. The medium one will bend more, and from the light, uh, rod you can see even with this uh, one pound the same size fish it will bend more so this is 
or uh, the, another explanation is on the right uh, drawing here the heavy one you can use it for the heaviest fist so three of them will bend the same thing but need different uh, weight so for the heavy one in order to make it a bend like this one need heavier uh, fist bigger fist than the medium one and the medium one need heavier or bigger fist than the light one so this is we call the power on the rod right <coughs> so that's uh what else i want to tell about you now is uh a hook maybe Hook. There's a few different kind of hooks. So you already ready to buy the, the rod that you think what you want to use depend on what kind of type of fishing, where you're fishing and everything and the reel too. You already match it with the rod that you use. Now you come to, uh, uh, to another part. Okay, what kind of uh, 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 hook I you want to use. So there's a lot many different kind of hook and different kind of fishing different kind of uh, hook different kind of bait so <clears throat> if you want to fish uh, let's say you want to fish with worm the live worm right you can use two different uh, type here mostly the common one this one like this this can be used for worm so you can slide the worm in here all the way here or this type this one is we call bed holder. Why this is bed holder? If you see the difference between these two, in here, you can see right the bottom one in here, it has bar. This one is not. The one with bar, you can use it for uh, one too. But I'm afraid the one maybe broke when they move around in here, they will break the the body. So, but this one is good for the bait. So if you put the bait, it will the bait will stick. It's not easily to to get off, right? So this will call they call this is the bait, uh, bait hook. So this is the bait hook. So another one is the circle circle here. There you go. Uh, what they call. This is kind of a circle. Hopefully you can see that, like a circle there, make a big, oh, I don't really have this one, it's the circle. Maybe it's a octopus circle, maybe. It's fun, right? It's just like a circle. They move, turn around like this, circle. So what, what do you usually use for this one or this one? Again, hook is come with uh, many different kind of uh, size, right? So this one, a big one. I have another one. There's a small one here. So <clears throat> I like the the one that uh, big. If I want, uh, there's a lot of small fish. I don't want a small fish bite it. So they are okay taking the uh, bite uh, bite on my bait, but I don't want. They, I, they got a hook or so I, I only want to hook the big fish so I won't hurt the small fish <clears throat> and this one like this this size usually I use it this one is for uh, salmon rose I can put it in here or I use this for salmon a lot and also for the live bait in here so the live bait I use this uh, this size like let's see maybe this one is uh, size number two so size number two, you can put it on the mouth, uh, if, because this one is not too big. It the the live bait will still alive, and they can they can swim around. So this is what I usually use normally for. <clears throat> so uh, another one, the same type, but smaller, really small here. Yes, maybe this one is size uh, ten. I think can you see this small? Oh. It's so tiny, right? Compared to number two in here. You can see number two. Right? This is a uh, two is bigger, way bigger. <clears throat> so the biggest the higher the number, the smaller is the size. 
<laughs> now why when I use this I use uh, for uh, bluegills I use for trout too uh, for any small fish trout even big uh, big trout I, I use this one if I use mouse tail I use mouse tail a lot if you use the mouse tail I put in here there's a lot of way how you put it but usually I put it just like this little bit because this one is small right because it's small it will float but if I use the big one yes a uh, uh, trout mouth they can chew they can swallow the big one without any problem but if I use the big one it will sink it will not float right so that's not good <clears throat> so I use this one depend on the kind of lure I use then I uh, uh, the size I will adjust it <clears throat> and the, uh, you can if you use like a floating bait or lure you want to see first try it put the hook size that you use it uh, put in the water you see that, that it will float or sink if the sink that you that's too heavy you need to change it so that's a different different kind of uh, a hook another hook usually I use to uh, this one right you can see this so when I use this this is for the jigging so I use swim bait in here. Normally I use swim bait. I put it in here inside swim bait, and then uh, I troll with the swim bait, uh, or you can jig in with the uh, swim bait. Just a different gun. This come with a different size too. This is for big one. Use it for stripers, and you can see this is the small one. See that different size. So the small one, I use it for set, I use it for uh, trout, so <clears throat> depend on uh, how big their mouth and how they bite it. That's one thing. Another thing is this, uh, another uh, hook, they call is uh, what they call is uh, like a claw, uh, castle or a claw. You can see this different here. They come with different size things here. Let me find if I can find small one. See that one? <clears throat> this this shape is different. Look at this shape. The shape is like this, a bandit like this, and this is the uh, needles is pointing to the hole here. If you set it up, it will hook really good. <clears throat> this one is really good to hook the fish. Yes, I agree. It's uh, no no complain or no anything about this. This is this is good to hook the fish, but I don't like it if there's a lot of fish. We use this. There's a lot of small fish. If there's a lot of small fish, if we use this and they swallow it, we will kill them, right? Because this one is hard to take this off from the inside the fish. Inside the fish, when we think want to take it off, it is small space. We can do it in here because they point it like this you have to turn it and there's no space to turn this to turn this uh, hook inside their uh, inside the body the, the fish body so if you pull it obviously you will break the organ so you will kill the fish <clears throat> if i want to use for striper let's say if there's uh, not too many small uh, striper i can use this but i want to use the big one if i want a big one the small fish won't swallow it I use the bigger one, but uh, I try to avoid avoid this one if uh, we don't really need it. If a uh, fish got away, this part of the game, right? It's uh, this okay. That's why this uh, say the fishing game, <clears throat> but better than we kill the small fish. So this uh, another one. Oh, I have in here. I have this fish. Uh, this hook see the hook with uh, this one is the metal one why we use the metal there's a lot of uh, fish they have a uh, sharp teeth if they bite it right they can cut your line easily for example a few years ago uh, I catch barracuda barracuda is really have a uh, sharp teeth so 
if they can cut the line when you get hook it they can cut the line and that's it they hurt and you don't get the fish right because they really stay inside their uh, the fish <clears throat> so uh, for this uh, like sturgeon too or this you can use the metal one or shark you can use the metal one it the their teeth won't break it on the metal one but you have to check with uh, the regulation on your own state uh, even in one state one area to the other area they are different so not to not all the uh, state they have one rule for all other uh, water body the uh, the different rule on different uh, area <coughs> uh, like uh, speaking about the rule like uh, for salmon fishing in some of the area in sacramento here like in the uh, american river i think from angel Holman all the way to uh, hazel need to be barbless like uh, if you go fishing on sunrise uh, along the sunrise uh, area there uh, then it'll be barbless barbless if you can see in here focus focus to this please okay in here you can see barb in here so you make sure if the rule the law in that area you can use the use uh, hook with the barb need to be barbless you have to break it with a plier or use the one that design uh, design with a barbless uh, barbless hook I really make sure there's a no barb because if you facing warren check it and you still feel the barb maybe you got the ticket so you don't want to get a ticket something that you know you don't need to <clears throat> so read the uh, regulation really carefully uh, make sure you do it right based on uh, the regulation so that's the the most thing you use now uh, if you want to use for striper again uh, with the uh, depend I use a live bait sometime I use uh, um, anchovies I use a lot of different kind or worm or anything you want to use use uh, the hook that uh, match with uh, the one that you want to use for the bait right? uh, but this one is mostly the one that a uh, bed holder hook the one that mostly I use it because uh, I use anchovy a lot <laughs> so that's uh, then if you want to learn how to tie the hook watch my other video uh, about uh, the knot the fishing knot you can use it so Sorry, I got a few phone call. I need to reject it. Hopefully, they uh, it won't stop my video here. <clears throat> so uh, I think that's the about the hook, right? Uh, for the hook, oh yeah, I, I have another one. I have not showing it. Treble hook. This is treble hook, right? They have a three hook here. Again, make sure you read your regulation for a special fish uh, like. Uh, uh, salmon fishing and river some area you cannot use the treble hook you need to use single hook this one is a treble hook like this you cannot use it but for trout mostly you can use it again if you want to use it use the small one this one is kind of big if you want to put the dough put the dough inside here make sure the dough will float if you're too heavy the dough will sink so this uh, uh, another thing you need to check I talked about barbless. Another thing that I don't have it. I don't have it right now. Oh, I have. I have this one. All right, this one is for jigging. So they have the weight in here, usually for bass, and you can put uh, worm here, uh, senko or rubber worm or whatever you want to use it, and put it here and put it uh, part of the body here. Then you can jig it on the bottom. So the bottom, lift it up, lift it up. So it's just like a, a life worm. So one of the hook you can use. There are a few different kind of bass hook. Uh, I don't, I don't put it in here. Where you you can use it for uh, senko, a big one. So bass uh, usually use a big uh, hook. So that's about the hook. Uh, I think good. So. 
if you want to go fishing with a trout, you use a small one again, you want a bigger uh, uh, striper, use the bigger one. Now I already talked about this, I now talk about the sink, right? So I already talked about the rod, uh, the reel, the line, a hook. Now it's come to talk about a, a sinker. This is sinker. <clears throat> so many kind, different kind of sinker you can uh, check here. Can show it to you. Bullet here. <clears throat> so I will take it one by one. Here. <clears throat> First, uh, this uh, pyramid. You know, the pyramid uh, model in here. I have a five. This one is five. Many different kind of size. Uh, one. So <clears throat> the sinker like this. Usually, I want. I am using it if I don't want this uh, my bait move around too much. Uh, let's say I want to go fishing on a strong current. I don't want to move much, so I use this one model. Or <clears throat> I uh, go fishing on the ocean from the beach, and the wave, I don't want the wave uh, move this too much, slide it a lot. Then I use this kind of uh, 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 sinker. Or the, the same thing like this one too. This one, sinker, it, it can hold better. This one you call coin, somebody call coin, somebody call a lot of things. Uh, just you can see this sinker model. <laughs> so this one also will not move much. That's good. I use it from the boat a lot for this one. Just cast it, leave it. It will stay and the current uh, move. It move, move a little bit, but not much. So the, the size is depend on what, what you want to use in here. Uh, also, this cannonball here is most popular too. See, I have a, a few different kind of cannonball. Okay, this is cannonball. See that? So different size. <clears throat> I use this a, a lot uh, when the move. Like this, I want to go fishing, like a salmon fishing. I cast it here, and I want this one move around the uh, the current. So I use this one because the circle will move uh, faster, right? They just move, 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 move. So that's good. <clears throat> you can tie this directly to the line if you use this, right? You go inside the, uh, this line here and then slide it, and they will go inside the line like this. That's okay too, so it will move all the way with the line. <clears throat> the other thing you can use is slider, here, like this one. Use slider here, it will slide, right? So you can use this slider. Slider will go. Put it like this so it will slide. You can use that one too. There's a this type. We talk about this type model. Now I have a different kind again. This one. See that? Inside this is like a small uh, bullet. Like a small bullet, small one. And this kind of <clears throat> okay, what is this one good for? Right? This one is also good for the current. If they go the current they will move so for sound fishing sometimes I use this one too or this one good thing about this because this is uh, small right tiny even this long if the snake is one snake really bad because they it can move depend on the shape right so it can move so it's better so <clears throat> this one is good if there's a lot of rock that you afraid if you use this or you're the circle you will snag uh, on the rock a lot use this kind of uh, sinker so this is good sinker now one is like the bullet one this is the bullet one this one right or this one this type almost the same all this kind of type here almost the same right this all the bullet one Okay, this one also we use it normally. This we use it directly to the line. So you put this is the line, you put this one inside and then slide it. Oh, my eyes is not here. Okay, you slide it, then it will slide uh, along the line. So the good thing too, if there's a slide along the, uh, on the line, if the fish bite it, 
it will not feel resistance so it will bite it but you can feel it okay they bite it and you uh, you uh, you pull it <clears throat> so it's good so what the different one is a uh, model like the bullet is bigger like this and this one is uh, tiny the tiny one I like it because this one also uh, not snake free but a less snake than the big one the big one is like more easily but this one heavier if I don't have any choice I have to cast it far because my line is heavier then I use the bigger one so. <clears throat> another uh, sinker you can see find it on the store is like this one right this one is mostly for uh, bass fishing you can see that <clears throat> so this one we call like a drop shot uh, sinker so we snap the line in here inside here like this one I can put it inside so I put it inside like this just snap it oops again this is the line pull it so it is it pins uh, the line and you can put your hook in here right put the hook in here above here you know how many feet you want above this this one the good thing also with this one is the snake you know, when a fish bite right sometimes this one is moving freely and snake something if you pull it it get off so you this one will live on the bottom but you still get the fish or you still get the line because uh best fishing you don't uh, use the main leader you only use one leader mostly so you won't break it uh, break the line low so it's okay you can take the line and uh, set it up again really fast so <clears throat> that's the different kind of uh, sinker we use <clears throat> another one I think this one I haven't talked about it this one another one here called torpedo here torpedo uh, model so you can use it normally like this right or you can uh, put it uh, slide you can still use a sliding tool but you can put it on the line between the the main line and the other uh, the, uh, the leader so you can put it here on the main line in the leader so it will sink this one will go free so you can use the, this torpedo model too <clears throat> so that thing uh, you regard the uh, sinker unit I have uh, some few things here, small thing maybe in its side to you swivel okay this is the swivel a few different kind of swivel here I'm gonna show it to you this one is called three-way swivel right and this one is the snap swivel this is the snap one right and also this one the snap swivel what the difference between this one and this one this one has a lock so this if i put it inside here it will it will lock here right <clears throat> so i i like the one with the lock uh, better for uh, my um, leader um, my main leader because it will i will f i feel more secure the one that without this i use it too but uh, mostly i use it for uh, for uh, sinker so this one is sinker I if I use a the one a three way swivel one is for sinker right I will use this one if this one is get off break is easier then okay the sinker is good <coughs> that's a yes uh, I think you need you need it also if you the good thing if you use uh, on the end of the line if you use this if you want to use the leader easily you just take it off and change the leader one usually I make it from home at night before a few different can if snack I don't have time to make it inside the board or on the bank take time I just use this one okay another one just uh, take it off and change it here the bead the bead just like a small one has a hole here so I put it this one between the line let's see if I have one okay I mostly has it here <clears throat> yeah I put the bit in here the bead normally is I, I use it to protect two things one is I, 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 I use it to protect the knot so knot will break easily because the this uh, slide from 
uh, the sinker and also I don't want the sinker go inside my hole or uh, fishing rod hole or the uh, swivel go inside my fishing rod hole this one will hold it will hold between that one so it will not break it so that's uh, two main reason I usually use <coughs> Another one that uh, maybe you use it sometime, like this one. This one uh, you slide it, can it will float uh, your bait, like uh, your worm will float. If you use this, you will get to lift it up. This one is uh, you slide it between the main uh, leader and your hook. So this this help. Sometimes you use it. Another thing, this one. Uh, see this one. You can if you wanna use this one. It will float. Right, so you put the <coughs> your line here, it will flow. So if you sometimes if there, there's a lot of uh, I mean doesn't the current doesn't I, I want my lure move, but because the current is slow, uh, it will not move my jig. So the way is I use this uh, like a for last time I used this for uh, sad fishing, it will flow. So this is good. This will help uh, represent my my lure on the, uh, inside the water really good, better. Another thing, sometimes I use this also is to indicator, right? Sometimes I use the ring on my rod. So when we get bite, it ring, 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 ring. Or I use this and pull it a little bit my line. So when uh, I see this one, uh, the fish uh, bite my uh, my bait, it will go up. So okay, I know that fish. So this one is. Uh, uh, good too for indicator fishing indicator. <laughs> so I think that uh, that's all right. Uh, I'm not sure you have anything else. I want to use uh, slider, <coughs> sinker, swivel. Uh, okay, I think that's all. So hopefully uh, you guys can uh, buy or this one help uh, what you need to buy for the first time to set up. Uh, do not spend much if you're the first time because you will uh, end up buying a lot anyway so you have to feel it okay what kind of fishing that you like uh, what fish that you wanna you go for and anything so for the first time is just buy maybe medium one not really the cheap one the difference between cheap and good maybe you can tell if this is a good rod they have a silk in here it's good in here right if, uh, the one is only metal sometimes is the metal is not really smooth it will break your line easily also this kind of resistance when you casting it you can cast it as far as people who use the good uh, rod because the the resistance on the hole itself is actually uh, hold the line so buy the medium one not too expensive one not the cheaper one quality but the medium one that you can uh, use it for a long time uh, for the hook also buy uh, based on what you need what you want to go fishing for uh, if you live in around Sacramento mostly you maybe go fishing for bass uh, trout uh, sad and salmon this kind of uh, fishing we usually have in here uh, like a bluegills yes we, we do have a lot of bluegills but uh, not sure if you really like to go for bluegills <clears throat> but uh, yeah, buy anything that uh, you need based on uh, fishing type you want. Then hopefully this one help. Enjoy your fishing and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, so see you in the next video. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.